how we do that. <gasps> All right, friends, welcome to another episode of our Control Let's Play. In the previous episode, we uh, came wandering through the ordinary uh, section of the uh, old, the oldest house. Heard some stuff. Uh, basically, found out that our friends got turned into you know animals and weird things, and that their teeth and in one case their corpse came through this place and had to get cataloged and stuff like that so that's pretty messed up but uh yeah i'm not sure what other details await us up ahead but i'm sure there are plenty whether i uh want to know them or not so let's go find them out yeet uh yeah at this point i'm not certain i want to know but we've come this far so we can't stop now it's like a train wreck Ordinary Ah, uh, stage 1.B dump. Uh, witness testimonies of the second slide we called the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting, and then when we'd come out, everything had melted around the projector. Uh, from uh, Jesse. Neil was really into it. We found out he'd been uh, coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it, also from Jesse in Therapy 2010. Uh, we thought Neil had got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. Uh, from Dylan in 2002. Unconfirmed, ex uh, unconfirmed existence of additional slide designated meadow. Well, what did happen, Dylan? You gotta finish your statements, please. I'm in suspense over here. Let's see what they have on ordinary. It can't be that bad, right? Oh, hello. Here, our home, our school. This the seems woods, excessive. The dump. Forgot just how dummy thick Jesse is. Just running into them concrete barriers slams it like destroys everything. Yay! It's it's a uh, pretty neat how how uh, how many pieces these little things break into. I don't know if granular is the right word for it, but it seems like an appropriate word. So we'll say how granular everything is is very impressive. Uh, search for slide projector object. Oh, hello. Well, why didn't you tell me we were gonna be ramble, uh, rumbling? Oh, my shit's reloading. Please. Better not put that shield back up. And yeah, what is that? We found the slide A jukebox token. The outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? In the recreation of the dump. Well, I kind, of, I kind of destroyed a large portion of this place. So I'm not sure where the dump is. Oh, ordinary dump site. So what is the purpose of this? You visit your childhood home. Everything feels small. Miniature, not real. Well, yeah, because you were smaller, so everything was bigger to you when you were younger. Stage three, okay. Uh, Tom and the others had gotten worse, scarier. The math teacher, Mrs. Chester, tried to make them listen, and they pushed over a piano on her. Broke her legs, then Tom... What? Bashed her head in. Bye-bye, Mrs. Chester. I always liked her. I liked math. Dylan. Can't just, like, say something like that. That's messed up. I mean... I, I get he's probably not just saying it. That's, that's uh, very sad. That was the tipping point. It was Lord of the Flies level bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, the grown-ups realized something was wrong. The police came and literally dragged Tom and Hugo and the others away. Tom was screaming the, that the not-mother would make them all go away. They enacted a curfew for every kid in ordinary. Mom and Dad were pissed, asking us about the dump, about everything. I remember wanting them gone like Tom had said. When we woke up the next morning, pretty much all the adults had just vanished. Was I responsible? Did I? I don't know. Uh, Jesse... Disappearance of majority of Ordinary's population confirmed to result from side projector related. Uh huh. So the uh, the not mother did in fact just make them all go away. That's uh that's pretty uh 
pretty heckin' unnerving. So what do we got over here? Any stuff? Any stuff? No stuff. Uh, I don't know. It's it's scary enough reading this you stuff, listening to it. Last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for. The miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Doesn't exist. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s mm -hmm. named Thomas Zane. What? I don't know. You don't know. matter. The poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. I think it matters a lot. a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Oh yeah, it was the yeah. the gun. It's this. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Mm -hmm. Your brother and your parents are dead. No. No. Dylan's not dead. And parents. It's not even it. We can't even be sure they're dead, but it wouldn't surprise me. Friend from your childhood, Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. Wait, Polaris left? In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The industrial accident in your hometown that you believe Polaris caused. No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident. And Polaris didn't cause it. There you go. This psychiatrist is wrong on like every count. Me and Dylan. Jesse. No. It was a cover up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Yeah. Agents from. I don't know exactly. They took Dylan. They. I'll find them. I won't stop looking. That's right, Jesse. Polaris wants me to go to New York. Building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Oh. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Mm -hmm. I think I think Jesse's got a pretty good handle on it. But one thing I just realized is when you're holding something and you jump, <laughs> there, there's no. Uh... There's no jump animation. Just when you land, you, you bounce a little bit, but otherwise you just yeet up into the sky with no effort. At least there's, there's a, a little bit of a, you know, there's something when you're not holding stuff, but... I think they expected us not to notice, but we did. Anywho, it is not that big of a deal. That psychiatrist has to be one of the worst psychiatrists I've ever heard from. Although I'd say I've only interacted with maybe two people who have any knowledge of psychology, and that was in class. Psychology classes. So I don't I can't say I have the most experience, but I'm pretty sure that's a bad psychiatrist. Uh anywho, ordinary uh 24. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden, see interviews redacted and redacted for relevant information, and the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that the accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. For example, Dylan Faden claims there were eight slides for the projector. Jesse Faden mentioned nine slides. The Bureau found one intact slide, designation 36. Uh, and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Uh, Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. 
Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this uh will be investigated in the containment sector. That's probably for the best, honestly, given what I've heard. Oh, hey. Almost missed it. Check your corners, folks. Oh, hello? Yeah, they really brought... They moved the whole <laughs> landfill here in the middle of New York. How'd they get that through the front door? He saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. Right? If they saw it, they just didn't want to see it. Dump cessation of work order. By order of Dr. Darlinger, all work in the ordinary, ordinary dump is to stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the redacted department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. Any photographic slides of the type used in slide projectors found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. Noted. Noted. So. Think we'll find any slides? I think there's a chance. Do, 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 do. Before we go down there, we gotta see what's up here. Globe supplement? Wolf of the Globe AI72-PE. The item was found in the penthouse suite at Redacted Toronto, belonging to David Wolf of who is being investigated for legally dealing in altered materials. See case 13-HQ-37. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranatural belongings, including Redacted, Redacted, and this item. Mr. Wolf of the was, was arrested. Uh, article from Toronto Daily. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that's kept Toronto High Society up at night this past week. Police say it's being looked into. Some nut job radio show in the States claims he disappeared to join the Illuminati, but it's, it's this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf of Hell, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach, beach paradise. Now he's sipping Mai Tais while the world thinks he's dead. Nice. I mean, shit, if you got the money, why not? Yo, can I just have a moment's peace, please? Eek. I just want to read stuff. Is that too much? Although I suppose in this place, reading is probably a little bit of a protected or a, a dangerous act. Where did they all go? I hear them. They're beneath me. There we go. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I definitely should have yeeted the shields first. I missed the headshot. Yay. And we can one shot through the shield. I really like this uh, pierce. The, the charge is kind of a, a pain sometimes, but it do be useful. Eek. Oh, the invisible one. Oh, hey! Fancy me new here, Deputy Supervisor ID NB225. Oh, I missed entirely. Should I just go down there? I kind of want to check out what's up here first. Sure, we're fine. I suppose this may have been a, a more uh, uh, an easier way to deal with the things that were directly under me. Okay, well now we're down here. Fancy that. Yay. So hard to get the headshot. Baited it out with the cheap shots. And I baited the dash out with the cheap shots, that is. Eek. I kind of wish we could just choose to throw one. Owie. Okay. Okay. Oh, no! I didn't have... I, I pressed control. I don't know if I had energy to dash. 
Maybe this is one too many. I didn't realize there were that many in that corner, honestly. Man, we, we did so good in that, too. Oh, we're way the hell back here. Oh, that's so sad. Do I have to pick up all the stuff again? No. Oh, don't tell me I have to fight all the stuff in here again. Your alert maintenance hiss notes. Nah, dude. We got stuff to do. We got a projector to find. And maybe some slides. Yes, they did. In the of New York. Indeed. Saw a thing. Not one. Pretty unbelievable. You right, girl. You right. What was that? Well, uh, I can't zoom on it. I was nine or something when I found my dad's old God's album. I became a huge fan instantly. Interesting. It's always a bummer when you find out find a new band and they're already in their greatest hits era. Sad times. So are we are we rumbling? Is there gonna be a ruckus here or what? Shatter projectile boost. Ten extra projectiles seems. Fifteen extra projectiles seems pretty good. If I ever used Shatter, that is. Uh, grip. Ammo cost while levitating. Accuracy. Get a fire. Yeah. Damage flat out just seems pretty good. Sure, let's go with that. Damage while on low health. Accuracy. This is a better accuracy than I have on. I really don't like relying on being um, low health for all that extra damage. I kind of don't want to put any lower tier upgrades on. Any any upgrades that are lower than tier four. Now we'll just leave it. Why do today what I can do tomorrow? There's a whole lab down here. Also, there are explosives over there. If we do get into another ruckus, we'll uh, make sure to use those. Pierce aimed fire boost. Saw that one. 34%. Disgusting. I think we, we can just auto yeet any um, lower than four mods, come to think of it. Launch energy cost, we already have a five. Energy. I'm still tempted to, uh, to use the C's speed upgrade. I don't think I care about the rest of these. Missions, uh, hiss node thing. Ooh, ooh what's this? This isn't your lab. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. Oh yeah? <laughs> that's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. So what they just give up on? took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. 
dimensional research. That's where we go next. Mm. Wait a minute, that was a whole bunch of stuff we just got. Dylan's a lost cause. Unfortunate. Although it's kind of your fault, dude. I know, I struggled to see this. But we've contained him now. I wish I had sided with Marshall. Back when it's just one person. So many dead. How many? How many is so many? I thought his youth was an asset. I... Just too much too soon. You good, buddy? Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary right. site remains as is. Right. We'll be back to... I, I don't know what. You got this. I don't know what that final frame was. He was looking at something. Oh boy. Uh, you've heard wrong slash fake news. Oh man. The board is A-OK -okay slash intact. Rebel faction slash descent is former slash fired. Crisis slash purge is over. This is not a matter slash worry for you. Blink twice if you're under duress, giant upside down pyramid. You can hang up now, please. Please! I've not known the board to be so, uh, courteous. Another low tier shit. Uh, well, I guess it's time to go check out what the heck's over here then. We're not we're not getting into a battle over this way, it would seem. We checked out all up there in our first life. Didn't really check over back this way very much. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. What is this? We're back at the turntable. Back at those uh, annoyingly flashy things. Hmm. All right, so we're not going to go for the the slide projector just yet. We are going to start going after. Whoops. Uh, I think I want the anchor. I want to finish the uh, these couple uh, side quests. The reason we started going this way was because we had a side quest in this area, and then the, that stage of this the the finished tango was in that section. So we we advanced it forward. But now is the time to go back and deal with these. Uh, so we'll start with the anchor in the sealed threshold hall. Got three ability points. I'm not sure if I really want to use them. Although, that seems pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, Astro Constructs. Can we afford any of these? Still not finding any corrupted samples at all, actually. Over there. We might have to do board countermeasures for that kind of thing. Containment sealed threshold hall is actually right next to us. Or really close to us. That one. Let's see if we can uh, 
finish this one out in the next five minutes or so. That'd be great. Back to the clocks with us. Oh, hello? Ooh! That yeeted, like, a ton of clocks. Hell yeah, dude. Yeet. So it turns out that's really dangerous with exploding enemies. <laughs> Believe it or not. Uh, I let it go a second too early. Where did it go? This is the safe room well shut down. The one with the altered item inside. Where did the healer go? Did it just leave? I think it did. This one. Even if these are low tier, uh, they still give dollar dues. Or is it this shelter right here? Yeah. Come to think of it, I probably sh shouldn't have left that unlocked. Last time I came in. Last time we were here, we needed... Uh, we needed to levitate to get over. Well, over this gap. Wait! I forgot this was right here, dude! In my defense, though, the marker is right there. Hello? What is this? Seems promising. Good question, Jesse. Hope I didn't need that. Oh. That's what's doing it? Spin might be a little better. I think we just have to uh, stand on the platform that it's about to yeet and uh, shoot the core thing. I am a fool! Spin is definitely not any better. <laughs> okay, so that's that still hurt. Believe it or not. Yes, that, that hurt quite a bit. So that's still doing damage, so if we just aim, we'll get there eventually. This has a, a metric ass load of health. I think we could probably stand on that platform and be fine if we are on the correct side, but I don't really want to risk it. Considering we just ate up all the healing orbs and uh, we don't have that much extra health. Eek. I'm also a damn fool still. <laughs> Thank you. No energy. Face me, you coward! I don't know how that doesn't do extra damage. While well, shooting at the red thing, you know? I'm 
Shooting that does not break it. I'm wondering, I'm honestly wondering if there's some puzzle I'm missing. Particularly with the red clocks. Bye-bye. Oh, we hit all of, all of the wrong ones. It's fine. Wait. Yo, wait, did that just fire early? That was weird. It's, oh, no, no, it's just getting faster. Probably as its health is going lower. That is a lot of clocks, dude. What the fuck? Oh, I forgot they yeet themselves. Oh, I thought that was about to point at me. I was so scared. We're good. We're good. Hey, where'd they all go? Hey there. Bro, come at me. Or, or, you know, send all those at me so I have to waste. Yeah, listen. Uh, not sure where I was aiming at. Oh, cool, 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 cool. You survived? Ah -ha! Oh, again, really thought that was pointed at me. Goodness gracious, that was terrifying. <laughs> I really thought that was the end of when it pointed at me and yeeted all those clocks. And then the exploders showed up. Oh, that was terrifying. I'm glad we're alive. I'm glad we made it. That took forever. Yeet. There. No one of the rangers had such a hard time with that one. True. No wonder. Anchor procedures. Black rock paneling successfully prevents manifestation of the sphere. Uh, altered effect. A Troutman style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surface is rusted in places. Weighs 3,789 pounds. Uh, the item generates a persistent blank sphere, the purpose of which is currently unknown. This sphere is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item, specifically redacted horizontal feet and redacted vertical feet from the redacted of the anchor. Uh, April 25th, yeah, April 25th, 1983, Redacted Ranger First Class was dropped into the sphere wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line at Redacted AM EST. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the sphere, Redacted's oxygen line was cut at the sphere's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during Redacted's entry into the sphere experienced vomiting, vertigo, and loss of fingernails within an hour of one another. Ranger Redacted has declared, has been declared MIA presumed dead. Sad times for Officer Redacted, a Ranger Redacted. I forgot about shield. I keep uh, uh, that that would have been a, good, a very good option while standing there.
That's really handy for getting around, by the way. Uh, accidental, uh, extra usage. I know we don't use Shatter, but it's, it's better to have things upgraded than not upgraded, you know? But, let's see where we can spend this. Sure. Sure. I don't see a problem with that. But I do see a problem with continuing this video because it's already uh, a pretty good length. So, I appreciate you watching. This is where we're going to end it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did and you have not already, make sure you dab on that like, yeet that subscribe button, turn notifications on, help me reach my goal of 100 subscribers by the end of the year, and I will see you in the next video. Yeet!